If you'd like to see how to make a cute little reversible sign out of things you already have in your stash, keep watching. You're going to start off with one of these little shadow boxes. We're going to use the front side and the back side. Mine is approximately six inches square. Then I've got some things like a wood burlap covered leaf, a burlap leaf from Dollar Tree, a little applique that came off another Dollar Tree item, and the sunflower. These were coasters that came from Michaels and I just peeled them apart. And then we have some page dividers that I already had. So I'm looking at color combinations to see what I might want to use. All right, so we're going to get the inner measurements and that's what we're going to use to cut the paper that goes on the inside. I'm going to mark that off, making sure that we don't get the part of the paper that has the holes in it. And then just cut it out. And I always cut mine just a little bit on the inside of the line. And it ended up being a perfect fit. Taking just a couple of dots of glue here to stick it down because I want to be able to take this apart and use it again. So this is going to be temporary, not permanent. Go. All right, so I just took a bead because there's a hole in the leaf here. I just took a bead and covered that up. You don't have to do that, or you could put your bow down further, whatever you want to do there. And I found these little squares at Dollar Tree. I'm just going to take the back and glue it on here. A little glue on top. To place it down and it gives it some dimension there. You can see shadows around it and I really like the way that looks. All right, so the second part, we're gonna choose another paper in another color. I like the yellow with the navy blue. And then we're just going to do the measurements of the outside of the box this time. Mark it off and cut it out. You could use double stick tape. You could use anything that you want there. Um, I'm just going to use a little bit of hot glue. Like I said, I like to repurpose my items, so I'll take it apart and use it for something else later. You can use double stick tape. You can use a glue stick, whatever you want there. It's kind of thick, so I wouldn't think that Mod Podge would work, but maybe it would. All right, so I decided that I want to do this pumpkin instead of a leaf that I thought I might want to use. And this pumpkin came off of a little a little organizer thing for fall. And it had two sides and a box in between. And I peeled it off and I've already used the other side. I thought this would be cute because it has the perforations in it and you can see the design of the plaid underneath. This is a piece of the cork that I just cut a leaf out of. This little scrap. And then I'm going to reuse this because I think it looks good with the yellow. And that is that. Two sides there. I hope you would subscribe and share this with your friends. Give it a like if you like the material that we've been putting out. And I'll see you the next time. Bye.